Now, the Wabash Valley's most watched newscast continues with Storm Team 10 Chief Meteorologist David Wire, certified by the American Meteorological Society. Good evening, everybody. We had a cold front move through. Kind of tough to tell because these temperatures still aren't bad. 62 in Rockville. Look at this, 64 in Terre Haute right now. And that cold front moved through early this morning. Your daytime high was measured at about 3 o'clock this morning with temperatures in the 70s. So if you were up early, then you know that we've cooled off. And if you spend any length of time outside, you'll feel those winds coming out of the north. Now, a little chill to the air, so if the kids have ball practices tonight and things like that, still keep that in mind. It's uh, a little chill out there, but 60s isn't bad. There's your rain. The heaviest rain now is closer to Indianapolis, moving through Johnson County. That's going to be around the Greenwood and Franklin area right now, but well off to our east. Still some scattered speckled rain showers west of Lawrenceville throughout portions of Lawrence and Richland counties. And you'll see a few areas of speckled rain showers through Knox, Davies, and Green over the next couple of hours before this fully gets to exit and move out of here. Watch the movement of this. While mainly it's off to the east, you're seeing these rain showers try to ride northward up the frontal boundary. And by frontal boundary, I mean this blue line I'm going to bring in here. That's your cold front. Behind it, temperature's cooler. Basically behind it, the winds come out of the north versus those mild south winds we had all weekend. 80s yesterday, it was breezy. But man, wasn't it nice? A little taste of summer right there. The temperatures on the back side of this cold front are going to again be cooler because of the chilly north winds that are out there, and this will happen overnight and be sustained overnight, and therefore you can expect a cooler feeling day tomorrow. Not going to be cold. We're almost past that season of having cold weather move in, but definitely a chill to the air. Watch this clock at the top, and as it goes hour by hour, you'll see this rain exit. Still, as I mentioned, our southern counties, maybe as late as midnight, 1 or 2 o'clock, still a stray shower for Davies, Southern Green, and Martin counties. They'll be the last ones to let go of that rain. But lower 40s, that's not bad. Sure, that's a little cooler with winds out of the north. Chill to the air. Make sure you get the kids a light jacket tomorrow morning. And yourself included, but these numbers are back to average. That 80 stuff yesterday wasn't normal. Average high is 62, average low is 42. And look at this tomorrow as we get into the afternoon. Temperatures lower 60s outside. These temperatures are going to be right on average. We'll see highs right about 62 degrees. A little warmer south and west. St. Louis at 66, Chicago at 48. But again, right here at home, pretty much right on the money for average temperatures tomorrow. And it stays quiet. Let's run through future casts, and you'll see that again. Nothing really moving in. Have some sunshine tomorrow, some clear skies tomorrow night. This is putting us all the way into Wednesday morning, and the weather stays pretty much quiet all day long on Wednesday as well. So forecast is this mostly clear with a chilly breeze tonight, 42. Winds will be out of the north. Wind chills tomorrow morning, 38, 39. It's not going to be terribly windy and not too terribly cold, but some light jacket weather tonight and tomorrow morning. 62. Pretty nice day, sunny and pleasant. If you're feeling like you're missing out on spring because we've had these wild temperature swings, you'll feel better tomorrow. Mostly clear in 43. That's tomorrow night. 67, a touch warmer for Wednesday. 72 on Thursday. We get another cold front try to move through here after temperature spike, and that'll give us another chance for some. Well, thunderstorms as we get into late Thursday night into Friday, 65 on Friday, but a colder Saturday. I can go ahead and call that one colder, I guess, at 48 degrees for your high, 53 back on Sunday. We rebound pretty quick, 56 by Monday.